process. You are now the officially declared candidate for the Democratic Labour Party. Good morning. Thank you very much. Could you ask why did the process take so long? It didn't take longer than what I would have anticipated. It's a preliminary process. Everything is done in triplicate. There are a number of persons to fill out forms. So I don't think there was anything unusual about the process. Okay. What is your next order of business? My next order of business, canvas, 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 canvas. And it's to meet as many residents as we can in such a short space of time and to try to understand and appreciate their issues and their concerns and how best we can address them, whether they're voting for us or they're not voting for us. At the end of the day, we are aiming to represent all the constituents of St. James South and be able to put our best foot forward for all of the residents of our leaders because that's what this is about. It's about representation. It is about getting the job done, which is a key part of our campaign and our slogan. From the time you started your mass canvas, which was your official declaration that you were a candidate, how has it been going? What's the response like from constituents? I think the response has been positive. It's been warm. They've been encouraging. They've been engaging. They're willing to share. They've let me into their hearts and their homes, and I've tried to do the same. And we are moving forward with this campaign. I think part of our aim is to ensure that we address the issues of concerns and residents and that we're able to do the job. We're able to say, look, if this is a concern and it's something that we can fix, we will fix it. We're not making huge outlandish promises, but we're trying to do the things that will improve and make their lives better. So what are their concerns, the main concerns? The main concerns range from things such as debushing, street lights, unpaved roads, lack of representation. They're not seeing their representative. She's not engaging with them. And the reality in 2022, as I said at the start of this campaign, I do not see or I can't imagine how those things, which are the most basic of things that a government and a representative should provide, should still be issues in 2022. And it's quite sad that the residents are still raising these things. And it's sad that we have to address them, but we will fix them. We will get the job done. You're our first-time candidate. We know you generally to be an academic, kind of making a transition into elective politics. Have there been any surprises? Is it everything that you would have expected? Yeah, it's what I've expected. I don't think there have been any surprises, but I wouldn't say that this has not been an interesting process. It's been one that has been full of adventure. It's one that obviously involves my family. It's one that involves my friends, and they've been supportive of me and my journey. And I just want to say thank you to them. And I also want to say thank you as we continue this journey to the residents of constituents of St. James. So I think I couldn't have asked for a better constituency. And I really, really look forward to representing them and being a member of parliament come January the 19th. Thank you. Thank you.